Hey, I'm Mike, and this is how you do the achievements in Ruby Life Pools. Are You My Breed Mother is an achievement that takes the entire dungeon to do, and in the two groups I did this with, we had to do the other two first and then come back for this one after. But if your group is full of gamers, then you can definitely do this in one run. So when you enter the dungeon, on the right you'll see a pillar, and behind it, kind of buried beneath some flowers, is a nascent ruby egg. The tank should be the one who picks this up. If you mount, or if you die, the egg will be dropped on the ground for 5 seconds and then despawn and you have to reset the dungeon to do it again. The first boss does hail bombs, which drops the white swirlies on the ground. The tank needs to stand in one of these so the egg becomes chilled. It doesn't matter when in the fight that you do this as long as you do it before the boss dies and you only have to stand in one. Afterwards you should notice that the egg has like a chilled effect on it so you know that you did it right. On the second add, that big orange swirly that spawns the fire elemental, the tank needs to stand in one of those. Again, it doesn't matter which one you stand in as long as you stand in one before the boss dies. I don't have video footage of it, but the egg on your back will now be on fire if you did it correctly. On the last boss, you want to kill Urquhart Stormvein first. I'd recommend popping your offensive cooldowns at like 50-ish percent on Urquhart just so that you can finish off that boss quickly and then also have some time left over on Kirika the Dragon. For that dragon, you want to get it down to about 10% as quickly as possible and then stop DPS. At this point, the tank will want to get hit by the Roaring Fire Breath Frontal Cone ability that the dragon does. If everything has been done correctly up to this point, after the tank takes that breath, the egg will fall to the ground and be targetable by anyone, and it will be called a Tempered Ruby Egg. It'll be taking damage every second or so, so healers just make sure to heal it up, make a macro if you need to to target it really quickly, and make sure it does not die. At this point, just kill the boss, and as long as that egg stays alive when the boss dies, you have the achievement. The damage on the group is going to be pretty intense, so if you have any cooldowns you can use defensively or any off heals you can do, definitely do that just to keep everyone alive and make sure as many people are alive as possible. And a big thing too is as often as possible, try to get your fire puddles away from the middle of the room so that way you have a lot of room to work with and you're not kind of stuck on an island trying to get to the boss or target the egg or something like that. For the dragon kill points achievement, all you need to do is run over the eggs and the pools around the room. This will spawn more adds for you to kill, and if you're tracking the achievement, it will turn white when you've got all 40, and then you can kill the boss. For the second boss achievement, as I'm recording this, it's a little bit buggy, so you might wipe and you might have to do this a couple times to get it right. So on the platform, there are four life pools, and these are not the little puddles of water that you walk past as you're clearing trash. There is a separate path to get to each of these, and they look like this. To do this achievement, you have to get molten boulders to roll through the life pool, and that will heat it up, and there's like an explosion effect when you know you've done it correctly. Tanks, this is mostly on you because you need to really position the boss in a way that it does this correctly. I'll throw up a diagram in a sec just so you can understand what I'm saying a little bit better. So Tanks, you want to stick the boss on the back edge of the pool so that way she is furthest away from the middle of the room. And then when you're in melee range, you'll probably be in like the middle of the pool with your back facing where you were killing adds. Everyone else in the group will stand behind you, so that way anyone who gets targeted with the boulder, it will go exactly where you want it to go. The DPS's main concern is the add that spawns, just killing it as quickly as possible. If you get unlucky and the elemental spawns on the boss, you can try to keep it alive so you can have another boulder go through, but if you get that giant puddle on the ground, then you're probably just going to have to wipe. A good time to do some DPS on the boss is in between the second and third pool, just because that run is a little bit longer than all the rest. I would just do moderate DPS on the boss and cleave off of the add. If you're tracking this achievement, it will turn white when all the requirements have been met and the boss can be killed. That's the video, thanks for watching, bye.